Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. Tonight's update is about magnetic reversals versus grand solar minimas. Now, it has been brought to my attention that there may be some confusion out there about what's going on with our weather. Not only that, there may be some confusion amongst quote-unquote grand solar minimum channels. Now, according to some, all of the grand solar minimum channels are purporting that the magnetic reversal is somehow related to the grand solar minima. And I, I am unaware of that. As a paleoclimatologist and geologist, especially a stratigrapher, this is where this information comes from. You're looking at all of the known data on magnetic reversals on Earth for the last 95 million years. And what you're looking at here is the last 4,000 years of weather, climate, climate change forced by the sun, the Minoan warm, the Roman warm, the medieval warm, the current warm. These are grand maximas. The pits are the grand minimas. We're headed down into the pit. So let's look at the last half a million years to put it into perspective and to show you why grand solar minimas are nothing compared to magnetic reversals and that magnetic reversals have nothing to do with the onset of grand minimas. You see, there is a double dynamo in the sun and you're looking at it right here. It seems to have a major 100,000 year peak, which we just came off of. And here's the last one, and the one before that, and the one before that, and so on. This corresponds to the quote-unquote Milankovitch periodicity of the eccentricity cycle, which is how oblate the Earth's path is in its orbit around the sun. It gets thinner and, and rounder and more oblate every 100,000 years. Now, within that, there's a 40,000-year cycle and then there's an, another 26,000 year cycle this, the precession of the equinoxes so we have an obliquity which is a small wobble every two processional cycles now this can be laid out with ch4 data co2 proxy data temperature proxy oxygen 18 isotope this is all taken from the antarctic ice cores And it's some of the highest resolution data that we have. You can clearly see the 100,000 year peaks here. These are the major catastrophic cycle peaks at 100. And there are about a 20,000 year periodicity of other catastrophic cycle peaks. There are also catastrophic cycle peaks that have to do with total solar irradiance, a much smaller cycle. This is a much larger dynamo effect probably originating outside of our solar system coming from the center of the galaxy, whereas this effect is simply the effect of the sun in a local environment called the solar system. So grand solar minimums are when the total solar irradiance drops dramatically every 400 years due to the double dynamo effect. Magnetic reversals occur at the purple arrows on much larger time scales. And we're going to get to the overlay of the comparison of the last four interglacials to bring that into perspective. So what you're looking at here is all of the known magnetic reversals, but that does not include magnetic excursions. Here's the last 800,000 years, and you can clearly see on the right the graphic, the magnetic dipole field strength, which shows you a very episodic and periodic fluctuation in the magnetic field up and down on a regular periodicity of at least 100,000 years with one, two, three, four, five blips every 100,000. We have the Mono Lake, Le Champ, through the Blake, the Biwa One, Pringle Falls, Calabrian Ridge. And it seems that when the dipole effect reaches a particular region, you get a major climatic catastrophe. Here, 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 and so on. But the dipole is constantly wow, 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 Ex doing excursions. 
So there's very short periods when it's not moving and then very short periods when it moves a great distance. Very short periods when it does not move and then a very short period when it moves a lot. We happen to be in a very short period when it's moving a lot currently, which is called a magnetic excursion. If it passes the magnetic dipole field strength four, well, then we have cosmic catastrophe in the climatic sense. The magnetosphere wanes, cosmic radiation rains in, there's massive cloud nucleation, radioactive elements falling on Earth, and evolution occurs at these weak dipole events. The field wrangles with itself. It can be very unpredictable. With magnetic excursions and reversals, the results are catastrophic. Most of the population will die. Very few live. But we always have lived. These have gone on and on and on, time immemorial. There have been over a dozen in the last few hundred thousand years, magnetic excursions. And we're still here. So, no need to fear monger. Not only that, let's get on to the long term scales. Here's the direct comparison of the past four interglacial periods. With the red line being the current one you're living on. And here's the last magnetic reversal here causing cosmic catastrophe and sea levels to rise hundreds of feet instantly. And we've been living out the good warm life with temperatures gradually dropping over the last few thousand years. Now, at this exact flexure point, this black line, in the last three of four interglacials, there was a grand minima so severe that the temperature dropped several degrees, basically instantaneously, similar to the drop-off at the medieval warm and the Roman warm and the Minoan warm. And couple that with this corroborating evidence in the reverse, that at all four of the last interglacials, at this exact time, there was major climatic shifts in the nature of three degrees C. That is a lot, and that is the end of the empire. That's how it works. There is no relationship between magnetic excursions and reversals and grand solar minimas. But if they occur in the same sequence of decades, which is the next several solar cycles, at the same time, the results will be epically catastrophic and in the nature of the 100,000-year catastrophe. Every 100,000 years, there's a major drop-off of catastrophic proportion. Sometimes there's a quiescent period, but there's always a drop. We've been quiet for a while. We are at the flexure point, the sea level fall surface, when glaciation ensues, according to the magnetic reversal, not according to grand solar minimas. But it has been always my belief since almost the first video that there is a particular grand solar minima that kicks off the ice age. And in, in this fact, in this case, it's a magnetic excursion at the same time that is going to add insult to injury, cooling of the planet rapidly. And not only that, extreme weather patterns which destroy crops that we're going to witness. We're going to watch the collapse slowly occur over the next several years. I hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. The time is now to prepare for the magnetic excursion you're living. That will happen in the next several decades. It could be early, it could be late, but it will be happening. The magnetosphere will wane and it will be very difficult to live on the surface of this planet. At the same time, we have a grand solar minimum occurring, which we know from historic data causes civilizations to fail. Ends of empires, the end of the Romans, the end of of Greenland. The medieval warm ended and everyone froze. The Minoan warm ended. Are you preparing? Are you prepared? Preparewiththeranch.com. Long-term storage, 25-year shelf life. It's a hedge. Gives you peace of mind and the best prices. Preparewiththeranch.com for our link to My Patriot Supply. We also have an Amazon store that has everything permaculture supplies, preparedness books, solar generators, bomb shelters, everything you could need to prepare for the coming events. We love each and every one of you. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like-minded people. The magnetosphere is waning. The poles are sh flipping, potentially. It's anyone's guess. 
But when they reach lower latitudes, where the poles are now moving, the magnetosphere will wane and catastrophe will occur. Any solar flare that comes from the sun will destroy the grid. Are you prepared to live grid down in the Stone Age? Preparewiththeranch.com. Be safe. We love you.